Hey everybody, welcome back to Crypt to the Necro Dancer. So let's do an all zones run, shall we? So I right, let's try and wait. First things first, let's try and get plus one. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Okay, right. We need bomb or money. I'm definitely buying the ring of regen because it's super, super, super good. Obsidian whip. I don't really use the whips that much, but you know, let's give it a try. Damn. Sorry, we want to try and get as much money as possible. Ideally, getting 300 here would be superb, but I don't think we can count on getting that much. Okay. The whip is really weird, so the whip kind of attacks in a strange... I say strange, it attacks in a, a, a very noticeable pattern. Balls. Fuck me, man. It's so hard to use new weapons when you're not used to them when you have to speak at the same time. So it attacks basically like in a T-shape, a very T-esque shape in front of you. So it's like one in front and then three either side, maybe? Cheese is good. I need to stop doing that. All right, get in there. So I need five more gold. Which I don't know if I can get. I think I fucked this for myself more than anything else. Oh well, we can bomb our shop wall actually. I was thinking about using the bomb for that wall, but let's just use it here. Okay, good. So Ring of Regen will heal us every floor. And I think we just leave. Shame we didn't get the chainmail, but with keeping the shopkeepers alive, which is the plan for this run, we'll hopefully have um, enough shops. Oh, balls. Nice. Oh, that's very good. Please be three bombs. Oh! Oh! Oh, what the fuck? Alright, well, the obsidian set it is then, so now we've got a lot of defense and stuff. Right, focus time, Tam. Focus, this is a run. This is certainly a run. Oh, fuck. So this is going to be a real test for me because I'm not used to using whips at all. If I can maintain... Go fuck yourself. If I can maintain, I'll be happy. Right, let's grab the money in here. Maybe our shop will have something super good for us. We shall see. Um, no. Nah. I think ideally I'll change weapon at some point. We'll use the weapon for a little bit just to see what it's all about, but... It's not my favourite weapon of all time. Right, no red dragon, please. In fact, wait, no, we already killed the, the red dragon, didn't we? Fuck. Um, I'm not going to use the cheese. Are, are we finished? I guess we're finished. I'm going to keep the cheese because we're going to heal when we go through the portal, so let's just fucking go. Okay, new music. Ooh, lead boots. I think we buy the map. So 
So just knowing where to attack with the whip is kind of the important part here. So we'll check our... No, oh, you silly skeletons. Another bomb's nice. It's all about knowing which way to, you know, position your yourself and how to hit the enemies. So if I go like that, I'll hit those guys. Fuck me, man. Ooh, a holster. Okay, I'm getting the hang of it. A little. Slowly but surely. Fuck. Fuck it. This makes my life easier for me to deal with this shit. Okay. Not worried at all. Everything's fine. I think we're finished here. Aye. So I used the cheese, but it's fine. Right, King Konga. Easy. Nice. And I think we'll check purple for a potential spell. Fuck. I'll take a bomb spell though, that's mighty, yeah, mighty good. Not bad good. at all. Another bomb's nice. So we know where our exit is. Of course we do, we've got the map. This guy shouldn't be too bad to deal with. So I, um, a good pair of boots, wing boots would be awesome. Of course they would, always. So let's go and check at the shop, see what Mr. Shopman has for us. And try not to get hit in the process, Tam, please. Now, map and compass, pretty good. Um, do we take the... Yeah, we do. Because, of course, if you look, we can switch weapons, you see. We've got the holster. For now, this is a good idea, because it's going to keep us in the right. Alright, well, let's come this way, then. Nice. Now nah, we'll keep the obsidian torch because it's better for us. Um, we can also do this. Ooh. So Ring of Becoming will heal us if we find the um, transmog. But it's a risky play. Let's leave it on the floor for now because it'll one shot kill us if we get hit while we're wearing it. But if we can transmog it into a better ring, then G and G. This might just be the fella here. It's the shrine. Um, yeah, we do need a shovel and we'll go obsidian. Right, this is the ballsiest play in the world. Because if I get hit at any point, I'm dead. Doesn't matter what it is or how much damage it does. But it doesn't matter what it is, because if it's like a... Right, I want to kill this nightmare straight away. That certainly makes our lives easier. That makes our lives easier too. Please just give me a transmog soon. 
because we're playing a Betty Rescue game here. Betty Rescue indeed. The coupon. A lot of bombs. I just need to focus on what I'm doing. Okay. And it's much easier for me to do this with the, uh, the repair rather than the, uh, the whip. I hate balls. That's a lot of bombs. So we should check the shop for sure. Um... Fuck it, we don't need the second weapon, but I'd rather have the food. Do we know where there's... is there any cracked walls? There is? Oh shit. Sell one of your items is not the one. Okay, just keep it alive. Oh, I should grab the money, I suppose. Keep ourselves alive, and we'll be fine. Okay, I trust that we'll find the shrine that we want. This might be it here. That fuck off. Oh my god, it's the fucking dream. Ring of Wonder, boys! Okay, now we've got the best ring in the game, basically. So it's like plus two damage and a bunch of other things. We heal every floor. I don't even care. Um, also give us a heart, didn't it? Okay. And also, of course, we don't die in one hit anymore. Because the Ring of Becoming is now the Ring of Wonder. If you want to check it out, look up the wiki. It'll tell you the full list of details. It basically gives you a bunch of um, improvements. And you'll see I'm much more aggressive now because I'm not scared of dying. Oh yeah, we do a shitload of damage, man. We should be able to open this as well. Yeah, okay, good. Double turkey. Or chicken. Or whatever the fuck it is. Double some sort of poultry. Fuck you. And then maybe we'll get a good pair of boots in the shop, because that's really what we're looking for here. Hmm, sadly, none of those things are what we need. Ring of Courage is cool, but of course we have, like... Alright, that's even more damage. Maybe too much damage. Can you have too much damage? Can you have too many bombs? These are the questions we must ask ourselves. I can't believe we got the transmog on it, though, that's awesome! Go fight yourself! Eh, uh, we'll check this. Nah. 
Okay, Zone 3. So we just need to take it nice and slow and steady. And we'll be okay. Also the shop, wing boots, man, if we get wing boots. I don't want to call an early GG, but it's going to be looking good. Um, nothing we really need. If we can get rid of these goblins on the early as well, we'll be in a good spot. Okay, right. How do I do this again? That's fine. I'll take it. So, right. So the plan here is... We don't eat anything yet. So normally what you would do is... You, we'll, we'll wait till we get to the next floor before we gluttony charm it. Because it'll give us an extra three art containers. So, a bit ham-fisted, I shouldn't have got hit by the bomb, but at least we had the multiplier to make it so that the damage wasn't too bad. Alright, so we need to heal for a heart first, because if you... Right, so the way the gluttony charm works basically is if you overheal, it gives you that much in overheal in new heart containers. So, if we eat, say, the chicken leg, which gives us three heal, when we're at full health, we'll have an extra three heart containers, so we'll be up to a grand total of eight. Which would be nice. So that worked out well in our favour. It's a shame we can't take the extra chicken drumstick with us, but... Let's get a move on. There we go. Okay, so now we got a lot of health. Um, it's all good practice, the way. It's all good practice. See, the reason we're doing all this is so I can get better at dailies. Fuck you, man. Ah, oh, it's not wing. Oh, the pack of holdings is excellent, though. Infinite storage. All right, let's try and get through this without losing a multiplier too many times. Silly goblin. Oh my god. There we go, it's fine. So we don't want to stand in the confused trap, of course, that would be silly. We should be able to one shot this guy. Ha ha ha! So making sure we're not attacking while we stand on the the fire blocks because it'll do damage to us. Nice. We're just gonna ignore the goblins, I think. Fuck them. I don't really care. Panicked a little there because I wasn't looking. I was looking at the map rather than the uh, the scary man. Yeah, let's just leave. It's a little busy. Huh. 
we'll just hit this um, lantern torch thing so we can get more multiplier. Fuck. I wish we had a good pair of boots. Well, slippery slidey. <laughs> Doesn't really matter though, we're in such a good position that I could literally be the most incompetent fuck in the world, which I kinda am when it comes to Necro Dancer, but... It would take a lot for me to... No, no, no. It would take a tremendous amount of fuckage for me to really fuck it. Oh, yes! That's superb. Oh, come on now. So. Pick up a ham just in case. Now we've got Explorer's Boots, which means that if I attack on these blocks, it shouldn't hurt me. Yeah, good. Okay, perfect. Living the dream! So what boss haven't we seen so far? I can't even remember. Fuck. I say fuck, but really what I mean is, aha, uh -huh, it doesn't matter what happens to me, I cannot die. <laughs> I mean, I can die, of course, but it's gonna be hard. Okay. I can do this as well. This is easy. Um, we'll go purple again. See if we can get a heal spell or something just to make it even more nutty. Now nah, we don't need a gold ring. Very good. Okay. Zone 4. Zone 4. I don't even know what our shops can really have that'll be useful. The good thing about having the Explorer's Boots is that we can stand in this ship without shrinking. Oh, hell yeah. Achievement, boys! I get an achievement for that. Um, is there not a way that I can scroll through my pack? So I don't really want to eat the ham, but there's other things in there that I can eat. Um, let's just bomb this with a bomb spell. Makes my life a little bit easier. So ham heals for four. So if I take another hit, I'll be ready for some ham. So I need to take one more hit for the ham to be... I can use the ham now, I guess. There we go, ham time. Fuck you, Goblin Bomber. <laughs> Fuck me, man. Can I even open this with one hit? I can't. Oh, shit. It's more ham! I'm so well endowed with hams. I could be a sandwich fucking master. A sandwich artist. And, you know what, just in case, get a potion in there. So one up, just in case I somehow fuck it up even worse. <laughs> Ooh. Well, the obsidian armor's probably better for us, because even though that's always 1.5 defense, but the obsidian armor can be 3 defense like it is right now, so we'll just stick with that instead. Alright, well...
Fuck me, man. These goddamn motherfucking spiders will always be the bait of my existence. Nice. Maybe to round it off, we'll try and get a... A leprechaun, maybe? Cause fuck it, why not? <laughs> the old Zone 4 leprechaun, eh? Oh no, my god, okay. I disagree, but it's fine. I don't need to agree. We don't need to really need to purchase a random item, to be honest. I could go for the boots, but I don't really care enough, to be honest. We're so close to getting a win here. I can smell it. Okay. Let's do it. So we've only got... Well, this and then Dead Ringer. And then the Necro Dancer, of course. Alright. Maybe the shop will be good. Fuck. Okay. Less harm. Ooh, that got really scary for a second. I'm gonna try and get the leprechaun here. If I can. If I've got the time for it. Come on, keep spawning that shit. So I need a pile of 100 gold. You'll know when it's 100 because it'll look different when it's on the ground. Come on. Okay, that should be good. Really? We must be close now, surely. That wasn't working the way I was expecting it to. Anyway, dead ringer. <laughs> Let's kill the spawners at the top before they become a problem. Last one. I 
Alright, not the cleanest of fights, but we got there. So, the Necro Dancer, you see. Okay. Um, do you know what? Fuck me, man. Oh, yeah, I've got like 13 bombs. Why am I even. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> right, so we need to use the loot here. Which has a kind of weird attack pattern and we only do one damage with it. I can get this. Oh, hello. Get our dad to come down here. One for you, sir. That's gonna be a bomb. Balls. And the win! Woo! Oh, feels good, man. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment, all the usual good stuff, and of course, I'll see you next time.